I never dreamed of becoming a Laker girl. I never, I mean, these weren't plans that I had, you know, it just kind of, it was an opportunity. I had time in my schedule. I thought, oh, I'll just try out for it. She not only made the team, but became head choreographer three months later, finding success in an industry where she felt like she didn't fit in. I think since I was a little kid, always aspiring to be an entertainer, um, I, my first real lesson that I was different from people was when I was at the early age of seven being in ballet class and being really pointed out that, look how short you are next to the other girls. I mean, you're at the ballet bar and I'm down here and the rest of the girls are up here with legs up to here. Size didn't matter to the Jacksons when they hired her to choreograph the video for their single Torture. But her defining moment came when she tackled choreography for another Jackson. Ladies, nasty I think the, being able to work with Janet so closely and being able to really create a style that the public would see, that definitely opened up a big door for me. She also worked with Duran Duran, the Pointer Sisters, won an Emmy for her work on The Tracy Ullman Show. Then in 1988, she stepped out from behind the scenes. When I decided to record an album and I was given the opportunity, everyone was skeptical. Oh, here's a choreographer, she's gonna try to do it. I'm a real believer in underdogs. I love fighting and working hard when someone says, no, you can't do it. And that's all I need to hear and I work harder. Her debut album, Forever Your Girl, started off slow until her third single release, Straight Up, shot straight up the charts and made Abdul a superstar. It's really great that I did have at least a year to myself to kind of collect my thoughts and reflect on what's gone on in my life because it has been like a, a locomotive that, you know, my career just went boom and I've always been running to catch up to that fast pace. I mean, I never knew it was going to be quite like that. The straight-up music video was just as popular as a song, showcasing Paula's signature moves and winning four MTV Video Music Awards. The presence of the record company felt that with this song, they really wanted to keep it simple. And they wanted to be able to really focus in on me as opposed to making these big elaborate production numbers. They wanted to keep it kind of simple but real catchy and real to keep their eyes watching. Three more number one singles followed from the album. In 1991, she released her follow-up album, Spellbound, that went triple platinum. Her third album in 1995, Head Over Heels, went gold, but not quite living up to the success of the first two. She went back to working behind the scenes, including choreographing this sequence in the film American Beauty. A few years later, Abdul would go back to music, but this time, her path was different. It would take her to discovering talent, not being the talent. I wrote a song for Kylie Minogue, and it entered the charts at number one, and it's been number one all over Europe, and a lot of the kids were singing that, so they wanted approval. The producers of Britain's Pop Idol wanted approval to use a song for the show that would eventually land in the U.S. and become the mega-hit American Idol. She gave it, and they eventually gave her a slot to become a judge on the show. I love doing that, helping kids realize their dreams. So when they asked me to do it, it was great. And then I saw a tape. And then I saw the nasty judge. <laughs> and then I realized, I know why they're hiring me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be counterbalancing his nastiness. Teamed up with nasty judge Simon Cowell and straight shooting music industry veteran Randy Jackson, Paula's encouraging approach rounded out the trio. The hardest part about this show is I have this tremendous amount of empathy having been rejected tons of times and, and the courage and, and the strength it takes to even get, get up there and actually do the audition. Um, it's heartbreaking for me when they're this close to making it but they just didn't do their best and you have to say no. She herself said no to American Idol when she decided to leave the show after eight seasons. I feel blessed and fortunate to have been part of a show that made history. It was such a blessing. It was a lot of fun. And what, what gives me so much pride is that 
I get to be a part of a genre of reality competition talent shows that thrive right now. Abdul went back to her first love and combined that with her passion to foster new talent. Becoming a judge on a reality dance competition show, Live to Dance. For me, it's one of those things, it's my bucket list. If I was not part of producing a show that had to do with dance, then life wouldn't be fair.